Today, we hunt for tunes in Spell Ruler. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. And today, we are cracking open the 25th anniversary of Spell Ruler, and it is the first set I actually remember going out, buying with my own money, at a store that doesn't even exist anymore, Borders. Comment down below if you remember that one. And uh, yeah, I remember the, the first rare that I got out of it was Amoeba, and I thought it was the weirdest looking card. But today we are hunting for that Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, that Delinquent Duo, and a plethora of other Toon Monsters. So let's see if we can get lucky enough to pull everything that we're looking for. Alright guys, and here we go. It is still crazy to me to be opening up boxes of these vintage sets. Definitely hitting that little nostalgic factor that I've, uh, I've been missing in my life a little bit from Yu-Gi-Oh. But of course, before diving into this, I have another giveaway for you. So anyway guys, to like the video, be subscribed with that notification bell ring. And comment down below, what is your favorite card from Spell Ruler? Now there's a whole list of great spell cards that came out in this set. There's all the tunes. There's the beautiful art of Serpent Knight Dragon as well too. So you got quite a few to pick from. I think for me, I gotta go for that meta choice of Delinquent Duo, because it is such a defining card, especially in GOAT format. Let's go ahead, let's break this seal. Still, oh man, I know I said it already, but it is just crazy nostalgic to be opening up a, uh, a box like this. I mean, geez. And clearly I need to sharpen the blade of my knife as well, too. Or Konami needs to make a uh, weaker wrap. <laughs> man, we are just going back to back with green sets considering I, uh, Opened up the Duelist Nexus not too long ago. Man. Alright, Spell Ruler. Let's go ahead. Cracker open the beautiful OG green set for us. Start off with that right side as per the huge. See what we can get. I remember weird cards like Eat Gaboon. I was like, what is this artwork? <laughs> Octoburser. Gravekeeper Servant, Whiptail Crow, Spear Cretan, and Horn of the Unicorn as our first rare. Oh, starting off with a super rare Messenger of Peace. Very nice. All right. And Guardian of the Throne, those rockets totally used to be red, right? Like, I'm not I'm not having one of those, uh, whatever the saying is, where you, uh, you think it's something and it's not. <laughs> they definitely change that. But starting out with a super rare Messenger of Peace, definitely uh, one of those big cards for those stall strategies in uh, GOAT format. Dark Zebra, Ceremonial Bell, Queen Bird, I don't know why, but this card always reminds me of my mother. Hamburger Recipe, very nice. Giant Rat, guys, use another recruiter for the decks we make. And Griggle, alright. Jigen Bakudan, very, uh, very classic. Classic card. Definitely a classic uh, Pegasus card. This is pretty much a Pegasus set. Hungry Burger, who just got support. Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Commencement Dance. Luminous Spark. Manga Ryu Ran, who is not a tune, but it is always treated as a tune card now with that new text. And Toll. Alright. I also have those Labyrinth cards in here as well too. This is definitely a, a pretty uh, heavy Duelist Kingdom set, is, is what I would say. So Penguin Knight, Umi Ruka, Umi Ruka, <laughs> Whiptail Crow, Labyrinth Wall, there we go, Nimble Mamunga, and House of Adhesive Tape. All right, Weather Report, definitely the best artwork of the set. That's, that definitely still holds up to this day. See what else we can get in here. We're only one super down. We're uh, a few packs in. Performance of Sword. 
Turtle Oath, Dark Witch, The Final Destiny, Heroes Shadow Scout, and Sonic Bird. All right. See a little slot machine back there, a little extra Bandit Keith uh, flair in this set. Can't wait to get to Metal Raiders where uh, we'll be hunting for that Barrel Dragon. Horn of Light, Ryu Ran, Snake Fang, Taylor of the Fickle, Senju of the Thousand Hands, very nice, and a Guardian of the Throne Room. With that, I swear, that is definitely a different color rocket than what he had in his OG print. Jeez. It's messing with my mind here. <laughs> All right, Ceremonial Bell, Stone Ogre Grotto, the Reliable Guardian, Flying Kamikari number one, very nice, and Black Pendant as our second super rare. Oh, a nice little upstart. All right, all right. Pretty solid pack, I would say. Good old Black Pendant. Definitely a fun card that I think everyone has used in their deck at least once in their life. Let's see what else we can get in here. Dark Zebra. Giant Turtle Who Feeds on Flames. Eternal Rest. Twin Long Rods number two. Heels in Ryu. And Metal Fish. That's one that I always remember. <laughs> These older uh, Yu-Gi-Oh sets, they just have such like iconic, weird cards in them that you just, you always remember them. Alright, Hungry Burger, Gravekeeper's Servant, Boar Soldier, Spear Cretan, Rush Recklessly, and the Mechanical Snail. <laughs> Very nice. Rush Recklessly, I, I feel like is another one that a lot of people would play in their decks way back in the day. But so far, we've only seen Manga Ryuran as a Toon Monster. Penguin Knight, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Hamburger Recipe, Labyrinth Wall, Karate Man, and Wall Shadow. All right. Let's see. So we got two supers so far. We've still got two packs left on this right side. Let's see what we can get. Fire Kraken, Peacock, Final Destination. Whiptail Crow, the UFO Turtle, because all the recruiters came in the set. Oh, baby! And there we go! A delinquent duo! One of the cards we were searching for. Very nice! Alright, alright. <laughs> Gladly take that. Definitely one of the cards we were looking for in here. Very nice. Delinquent Duo, one of the iconic spell cards from this set. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That was second to last pack of magic on the right side. <laughs> yeah, I'll gladly take that. So two supers and an altar on the right. Let's see if this last pack can give us anything. Octoburser, Commencement Dance, Spear Cretan, Nimble Mamunga. Oh! Baby! And then the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon! Very nice, back-to-back -back with the Delinquent Duo. We have gotten the two cards that I was looking for most out of this set. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon and the Delinquent Duo. Anything else is just, uh, it's just the sprinkles on top of this wonderful Spell Ruler Sunday. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I got that lucky. We have been really, uh, we've been hitting home runs with the last two uh, 25th anniversary booster boxes. Mystic Tomato and Confiscation. All right. Another very good spell card. Definitely, uh, definitely how this set got its name. The Ruler of Spells, as far as Yu-Gi-Oh sets go. That's for sure. Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Ancient One, Eternal Rest, Queen Bird, Giant Germ, and Griggle. Giant Germ was always a fun one to play. You know, it's one of those Kaiba cards, so everyone had to uh, had to play at least once to feel like Seno Kaiba. Corner Light, Stone Ogre Grotto, Boar Soldier, and Amoeba, the first rare I ever pulled from a booster pack. Man, I'll never forget that at Borders, getting Amoeba, Eat Gaboon, those cards, you know, you, you never forget your first, is what they say. <laughs> Peacock, Penguin Knight, Snake Fang, 
Taylor of the Fickle, Shining Angel, and then our Liquid Beast. Good old Wall Shadow. And then there we go, what I was just talking about. Eat Gaboon, one of the uh, gross-looking weird cards in the set. <laughs> All right. Ryu Ram, the normal one. Umi Aruka, Luminous Spark, Dark Witch, Manga Ryu Ran, and Chorus of Sanctuary. All the field spells came in here as well, too. Realistically, this set it was definitely uh, iconic as far as like old Yu-Gi-Oh sets go. Fire Kraken, Performance of Sword, Stone Ogre Grotto, Queen Bird, Mother Grizzly, and Guardian with that different colored rocket. <laughs> All right, halfway through the left side, I think we still get another Ultra, don't we? Umi Ruka, Ceremonial Bell, Dark Witch, Boar Soldier, Mystic Tomato, and Black Illusion Ritual as our third Super Rare. Very nice. All right. And an upstart. Hey, I'll take a Sonic Bird as well, too. So search out that Black Illusion Ritual a little bit easier. Not bad at all. I will gladly take that. So, Penguin Knight, Curse of Fiend, Queen Bird, Commencement Dance, Karate Man, and Molten Destruction. I think, yeah, we just got a bunch of uh, field spells and then uh, <laughs> nice equip of Malevolent Nuzzler. Another iconic equip card from Spell Ruler. Performance of Swords, Turtle Oaf, Final Destiny, Snake Fang. Flying Kamikari number one. And Metal Fish. So yeah, we still definitely have an Ultra Rare. Three packs left. Could this be the one? Will give us another Delinquent Duo? That'd be pretty cool. Ryu Ran, Peacock, Twin Long Rod, Hamburger Recipe, Heels and Ryu, and Chorus of Sanctuary. Kodo Dama's one that's always been kind of weird, too. That screaming face is uh, definitely something that haunts my nightmares. Uh, pretty horrifying, if I do say so myself. Alright, Giant Turtle, Horn of Light, Steel Ogre Grotto, Labyrinth Wall, Senju, and the Forceful Century as our second Ultra Rare. We definitely got some fire for our Ultras and our Secret as well. But geez, the Forceful Century, <laughs> one third of uh, Triple Tactics talent. Very nice. All right, I'll gladly take that. This box, put a fire emoji down below for this being a fire box. Last pack, let's see what we can get. What can we end on? Eternal Rest, the Reliable Guardian, Amoeba, and Upstart Goblin to end Spell Ruler. So there you have it, guys. That was Spell Ruler. I'm not too sure which one we're going to open up next, but I'm definitely going to hold off. For Legend of Blue Eyes to be the last one, you know, we gotta save the most iconic for last. But Spell Ruler was definitely kind to us today. I mean, it's super iconic to be able to open up a set like this. Especially one that was the first booster pack that, you know, I was able to get on my own. From a store that no longer <laughs> exists to uh, really put an age to myself. But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys let me know down below. What was your favorite card from Spell Ruler? So mine's Delinquent Duo, and thankfully we pulled one of them. So that's, uh, ooh, that's a little chef's kiss right there. But of course, be sure to check out those links down below. Be sure to use that TCG player link if you want to buy your own box or singles from this set. Be sure to check out the Etsy store as well, too, because we have super fire product going up on there. And of course, we will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye! Mwah. And good night.